okay guys this is getting tougher and interesting as well <laughs> The River State Governor of Bora de Sube, Stinubu, despite signing peace deal with Miki, see what it did that shocked everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Governor of Bora of River State has failed to honor the peace deal he signed in the presence of President Bola Tinubu and has refused to withdraw his suit against the State House of Assembly. Fubara's agreement to withdraw his suit against the State House of Assembly was one of the resolutions reached during his meeting with President Tinubu on Monday, aimed at ending all political crises in the state. Tinubu's intervention came after the disagreement between Fubora and Nwike polarized the State House of Assembly, leading to the emergence of a fashional leadership. However, at the end of the meeting that lasted about two hours, eight resolutions were made. Firstly, Tinubu mandated Fubora to immediately withdraw all matters he instituted in, this, in the court in respect of the political crisis. Secondly, Tinubu mandated pro Mwike lawmakers to immediately drop all impeachment proceedings initiated against Fuwara. Other resolutions include the leadership of the River State House of Assembly as led by the by Mount uh, Mountain. Mountains should be recognized along the 27 law uh, lawmakers who resigned from the PDP. The the remunerations and benefits of all members of the River State House of Assembly and their staff must be restated immediately, and the governor of River State shall henceforth not interfere with the full findings of River State House of Assembly. The River State House of Assembly shall choose where they want to sit and conduct their legislative business without interference or hindrance from the executive arm of government. The governor of River State, Saf Bora, shall represent the state budget to a properly constituted River State House of Assembly. The names of all commissioners in the River State Executive Council who resigned their appointment because of the political crisis in the state should be resubmitted to the House of Assembly for approval. They shall not be a critical committee for the local government in River State. The dissolution of the local government administration is null and void and shall not be recognized. However, when the suit number IHC 20 slash 20 uh, slash 230 slash 2023 between the governor of Bora versus the River State House of Assembly and others pending before a state high court came up on Wednesday. The counsel for the governor, D.O. Okoro-san, told the court that he had not been briefed to withdraw the, the case. The high court sitting at Isopo was presided over by Justice O. Ben Whitey. But the counsel for the state assembly chief, uh, Ferdinand, uh, told the court that his client had instructed him to withdraw the matter following the agreements reached by the parties. Following the very instructions, Justice Ben White told Okoro to seek clarification from his client concerning the recent development pointed out by uh, with Ferdinand. The case was adjoined to January 13, 31st, 2024 for a report of settlement. Missed reactions, however, trailed the development online. That is to say he did not sign that agreement except is not satisfied with the agreement. Who is Tunubu to direct an elected executive governor? These are reactions from Nigerians and they are still talking. Hmm. Even the most foolish person in the world will never sign such agreement. Even he did not know that River State is bigger than uh, Lagos State. That only one man will be controlling. Please, Mr. President, stop trying to insult River State. Fubora did not sign any deal with Tunubu. 
the high risk, the high, the high rank wicked people in Asorok that sent him up. Who we accept that nonsense that, that was written by the so called wicked people. Wicked thought that he is wise, but he did not know that he is a big fool. Hmm, that's harsh. Fubara is River State Governor. He is not the son of Tinubu, nor Tinubu's employee. That he will come and write out seven uh, points of rules that will subject him to slavery. If anything goes wrong in a state, he should allow the governor to follow it judiciously. River State is, is River State. The mistop or confusion should stop about the settlement. Personally, I think the judiciary is toothless to the elites, Nigeria, but powerful on the less privileged Nigerians. If not, why should a, del a, a delicate issue that can the tribalized state be handled like a primary school children affairs? President Tunubu should have directed the, the offending people to go to court and allow the court to have free hand over the decision under the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The president should allow Governor Fubora to do the needful. Stop helping Mike to carry out his foolishness ambition. In River State, it is enough for Mike. It's high time he realized that he is no longer the governor, so things can, uh, things can never be the way it is. He cannot eat his cake and still have it back. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.